Hello and welcome to the Roy Rogers News Channel. Thank you so much for watching. And for today's Pokémon update coverage, we're going to dive into the Pokémon Holiday Special of 2023. All right, and in this update log, a little bit of a spoiler, there is going to be an increased chance for you to encounter Shinies. So you might want to play Pokémon while the event is ongoing. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the update change log right now. Let's go and dive into the features. Xmas 2023, Season's Greetings. A massive icy bird, that sounds like Articuno, has taken down Santa's sleigh while he was trying to deliver presents for the year. Keep an eye out for it in Kanto. All right, if you see a giant blue icy bird, then you might be able to keep an eye on it. Or it might be just an alpha deli bird, either way. Lost presents have been scattered all over the world. Recover them and return them to Santa for special presents, but beware of mimics. Collect them for a chance to befriend Santa's special alpha deli bird. Santa's favorite workshop helpers have escaped and are swarming in the world. Keep an eye out for holiday swarms featuring rare species. Capture them and return them to nearby elf bots to receive mysterious balls with higher than normal shiny rate chances. Holiday magic is in the air, increasing the base shiny rate of all encounters by plus 20% for this event. This event with normal shiny charms and donor status. All right, if you're doing some shiny hunting, you might want to do it right now. Okay, new holiday special will end on January 2nd of 2023 when the in-game timer for the holiday charm is completed. Players will have two days to turn in any remaining lost presents. General, multiple accounts can now be stored in the login UI's saved credentials. And now let's go ahead and talk about the gift shop, shall we? So there's one particular vanity here and it is called the Christmas Slate. Winter items are back in stock, including the ever-popular Christmas sleigh. Check them out before they are gone. That's what it looks like. And now let's go ahead and talk about the balancing. Sharpness's base power modifier has been increased from 40% back to 50% for slicing moves. All right, you pretty much made my short relevant again. Legendary lures have gained additional effects. They increase normal encounter rates by 15% increase the levels of monsters encountered in the area to maximum value plus two. May increase the size of encounters and have an 8% chance to encounter lure exclusive species. That's wonderful. And now let's go ahead and talk about the bug fixes. Fixed many client crashes, fixed an issue where download would take into account held items abilities and field effects when calculating its boost stats. Confusion damage can no longer activate held item or ability effects like weak armor. Fix an issue where in battle chat a hex code may show up instead of colored text after certain moves were used on certain monsters. Fix an issue where in some maps with low encounter rates, such as those in GBA areas, low value encounter rate modifiers, like swarms plus 10%, wouldn't be fully effective. Mobile, fixed layout issues with the evolution tree shown in the decks. Fix an issue where invalid characters could be input into the character deletion prompt when deleting characters. Fix an issue where untradeable makeover kits and gender swap tickets weren't able to be used. Mobile. Fix an issue where if the installation of a mod was interrupted, players wouldn't be able to uninstall it without clearing the app's data. Fix an issue where when entering phase two of Ho-Oh's boss battle, the challenger's negative stat stages would be cleared instead of they're positive ones. Illusion can no longer target another monster, which also has an illusion target. Mobile, fix an issue where when releasing monsters from the PC, an error could occur, which selected invalid targets. iOS, 
fix an issue where time zones wouldn't render correctly, fix an issue where eggs could show active particles, fix an issue where in co-op NPC battles, the battle could get stuck if entering a fight with less than three party members available. Fix an issue where snatch, snatching in prison could cause a battle deadlock. Changes. Event items which are marked as automatically expiring, such as spooky candy, special candy, and anniversary medallions, are now automatically removed from inventories upon an event's ending. Developer comments. While we look forward to previewing a new feature for this event, it is still in development and has been delayed until Chinese New Year of 2024. Look forward to it then. All right. I'm not too sure what that brand new feature is, but stay tuned. Hope you all are here during this event's debut. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. This is Aurora Rod Junior Channel. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to channel like the content that you see here. If you feel like that my commentary on this update has not been sufficient, then feel free to check out Petrowski's video, which I can put in an end card here. Anyways, this is Aurora Junior Channel. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to channel like the content that you see here. And this is Aurora Junior Channel signing off. Fast, accurate, and biased. Roy Rogers News.